What's up? Yo, 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 what's up with y'all? It's y'all boys out here again with y'all at the table, kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Got some stuff that we kind of want to break down to y'all. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We ready to get it in with y'all, man, George. Oh, yeah. You know, talk to y'all for a little bit. Talk to us, talk to us, baby. So today we got a few topics that we want to hand off to y'all and just talk to y'all about a few things that we also got going on with our lives. Uh, is there anything y'all want us to talk about, leave it in the comment. Uh, if you can to this video, like the video. If y'all new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and leave a nice little comment, you know, telling us what we're doing and how we're working and, you know, what else we need to work on. There we go. That's All right. That's what we want to do it. For sure, for sure. Man, ain't, ain't it crazy how, how uh, 2021, all these movies is coming out? Man, all this is, man, it's ridiculous. I think... What's the movie, what, one of the hot movies that I noticed in 2021 that came out and that I'm really just, I'm really surprised of is um, Coming to America. Coming to America. Coming to America. It was different than the bug. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I mean, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was good. It was definitely, definitely good. good. It was lit. You know, I like the change that they put into it and stuff like that. But I think it really, it really wasn't for our, hold on camera. Let's bring, let's bring it back. Bring it back. Bring let's it bring back. it back. Um, I really don't think that that was for our era, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it was for the younger generation era, cause they, I mean, we had ours. You know what I'm saying? So, what they gave, which was good. I mean, it still was good, but it wasn't what we got. We got back in our yeah, time from movies. Cool. So, you know, and, and you know, Coming to America is an old movie. You know what I'm saying? But that's just something that that's something that you that's like um. Like um, you know, you know, speaking for our family, that's something that you grow up watching. That's something that you're gonna see in every household. It's gonna be a DVD, a VCI, or something. You're coming to America on it. So, yes. so then when they come out with a movie that they kind of, kind of rushed and made it more, more PG than anything, yeah. you know, um, it's it's not gonna interest us like how. I it, mean, what really got me is that the the sun. Like, where did that? Sorry, I'm all in my eye. What got me is the sun. Like, where did that come from? Like, how did y'all get this sun? Did you see how, like, they said that he was dating and messing with the one girl? Yeah. That's like a one night stand. But I'm like, I've never seen her in the first movie. Right. And, and see, and, and, and Leslie Jones, she played the hell out of that part. She did real good. She did a great job. She but, did real um, good. but, um, Sorry, y'all. It's a little windy out here, so y'all gonna get a lot of the camera movement and stuff like that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, Leslie Jones, she played the hell out of that part, but um, I don't think they should have had it to where she was all the way back in the 80s. And she, yeah, I, I, they like, should have not did that. Yeah, we, we, we didn't see her back then. No, so, they you know, fair enough. Like, man, no, she shouldn't even touch bases on that. You uh, know, I mean, but she did good. She did her thing. Wesley Snipes really surprised me. I was yeah, like, he, what? He the did heck? his thing. He, I say, he what did the his heck? thing. If they don't bring that man back for the blade, then we got a big problem because yeah. Wesley Snipes is the man, man. I he think he played in uh, Waiting to Exhale too, right? Yeah, he did Waiting to Exhale. What's that him? Waiting to Exhale. But oh, was uh, that Dennis Haysburg? Nope, that was him in Waiting to Exhale with uh, Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, say, I say he made the movie with Angela. Angela did his thing. I say, but with Wesley Snipes in that part though with her, man, I ain't never seen Wesley act bad like that. I know I like, it. What? I know it. He was good. He was man. real good. That's just yeah. Yeah, some good actors out here, man. Definitely. I mean, it's a lot of talented actors. I mean, it's a lot of talented actors out here. And I mean, just as far, I mean, just to go as Angela Bassett, but we still got Viola Davis. We got Denzel oh Washington. Goodness. We got, um, who else we got? Nicholas Cage. Hey, ooh, we got that's uh, a good one right Emma there. Watson. I say, oh my gosh, did y'all see the movie, the, the Cruella movie? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, the Cruella yeah. movie went so hard. I cannot I believe it. I didn't get a chance it. to check it out. You didn't check to, it? I'm gonna have to oh, check I can't it out. even say nothing. I'm going to just have to tell y'all it's a must watch movie. Y'all must, must check that movie out. It's Cruella, and you must watch it. I'm telling you, it's. I can't even believe the storyline that they put to that movie. Mm -hmm. Um, We got to We got to We got to be expecting a. Um, we got to be expecting a, um, a 2021 Halloween. 2021 Halloween is coming out this year. They're, they're, they're constantly making Halloweens now, mm -hmm. but they're not making no Friday the 13th. 
You they, know, they, I noticed that. They gotta make Michael Myers is coming out. I haven't seen no Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which they recently made some, though, but they still haven't made no Friday the 13th. No, no Friday the last 13th. Friday the 13th was, what's my man's name? Uh, when No, when Jason was with the kids at the camp and stuff, and he, the dude was looking for his sister. The dude was looking, yeah, yep, the one That's that the came Friday out. The, uh, some years ago. I think that was like 20... 2009 I mean, or 2009. something. 2009. Yeah. Yeah, 2009, I think. It was old. Yeah, it was old, but it was it was good. It, it was, was definitely, it was definitely good. good. Definitely good. Um, They they just need to do another one of them, I, I, my opinion. I would like to see Jason get back out in the field. I would, too. I think it would be a little different because I know they would have to find another person to play the role. But, yeah. And it's not, it's not an easy role to play, I'm sure. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, um... How do you feel about the, the 2021 upcoming artists? And the upcoming artists today, I mean, I listen to some of them, but I'm not as big on them. I mean, Drake's still continuing, so I still mess with Drake. That, yeah, he's, he's know, the GOAT. Yeah, he's the GOAT. I still goat. mess with Drake. Um, I like Drake. And a lot of the artists that was there when I was young, that I was coming up watching, I still listen to a lot of them. A lot of the new artists, I mean, they cool, but I mean, I just, I can't jump off into what, you know, they really, what, what they're trying to explain in their music because I've been listening to Drake them and their style of music for a long period of time. So, you know, the new, I mean, it's cool. It's cool to put on when I'm in the car and I'm just rolling, but it ain't nothing I'm a set and I'm a vibe to in the house and, you know, chill and clean up the crib too. You know, that's just, that's just me. I mean, but y'all continue to do y'all thing. If y'all see this video, great music, do y'all thing. I'm not crappy y'all or nothing. It's just, that's just what I wouldn't listen to if I'm cleaning up. <laughs> if it's clean up. My brother played it. Oh my back, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was I was gonna ask you. Um, speaking speaking on um, on on now and back then, you know, the early two thousands or whatever. Who would you say you you vibe with more as an artist? Like your top three, your top five. My top three artists that I vibe with the most. I'm gonna have to keep it one hundred. J Cole, top one. Mm -hmm. That's top one. I listen to J Cole all day. Um, second would have to be Pharrell. I listen to Pharrell all day, yeah, that's and then so third cool. one, yeah, Pharrell, my dog though. Mm -hmm. Um, the third one would be Missy Elliott. Missy, Missy, Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott, my girl. I like her music. I like her style. I like that she do the dances in the videos. I would really like for her to come back, or at least find somebody that could that have her that she can, you know, make up to her style and bring her style still there, but bring the new style of who that new person is. Man, it'd be dope to see Missy do some. Some some dope work. I know she got something under her sleeve. I know yeah, she do. She definitely do. And mm -hmm. and and you know, um, she what one thing I like about Missy is that she's showing the ropes for people. She's mm -hmm. leaving doors open. She's opening doors because mm -hmm. she has that kind of you know that kind of power, that kind of you know advantage. So that's what I admire about her. Also, she's an amazing artist. She can dance. She can choreograph. And she's and you know now that she's not in her prime really anymore, she's showing other people how to get to yeah. where she's at. And she also had stars that's high in the yeah. game right now. She yeah. got, what, Sierra? Yeah. Sierra in the Sierra game on. right now. She put her on and had her doing her thing. And, and that, would be, that her. would be one of my top threes. Sierra. See, that's what's up. You're going to have to explain your top threes, too. Mm -hmm. Now, see, with Sierra, you know what I'm saying? She a star. Mm -hmm. in the, you know, she a star. She up there now. Yeah. But her favorite person is Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She like that's my favorite MC. Missy. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying it's kind of cool. Like I, that's that's my biggest thing. I wish I wish to one day meet Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. I mean I don't want to be I like the like man, but I want to do the things that he's doing. Mm -hmm. So that's my biggest thing. So that to me that's Sierra to Missy Elliott. And she you got share the same name. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> my name Denzel. But y'all know that it's DZ too. It's DZ. But uh. My name is Denzel, and uh, like I said, I, I mean, that's my guy. Denzel Washington is my guy, you know? I grew up wanting to always be like him, or wanting to act like him, wanting to do the things he do. But I know now, you know, since I'm older, I need to bring out my way in form of doing things and showing it my way. And maybe he could just work with me and critique me on my stuff and give me some of his ideas and stuff that he used. Definitely. Oh, yeah. So you were supposed to be telling us your... You're three. You said that Sierra was number one. Well, no, I, I wouldn't say Sierra is my number one, but as far as the, she's in my top three. But as far as like the dancing and the, um, the and, and the style of the dancing is something that I would, you know, take from her and and See, you okay. know and, and that's what I admire about her. Um, she's she's very great. Everything that she does, she writes it out. She she does it herself now, See, you know, and that's what I like about Sierra. Mm -hmm. My second would be. Um, 
My second would be, um, when I was younger, I used to always wanted to be like Neo. I used to wear the hats and things like that. Damn, I was, he made me forget about Neo. Yeah, I was at <laughs> Neo. Yeah. Can we say four? Yeah. <laughs> Can we There's say three four? or five, your top three or five. With you, um, then I have to put Sierra in the game because Sierra in there too, all of them in there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yep. I just- I, Missy was, Elliott, yeah. all of them. I'm telling you, Missy, Missy that's, that's my homie right there. Me, Man, me and her go home. back. I like Roddy Witch too. He's good. He's good. I don't really know a lot of his music, but I like his beats. Yeah, he, he's 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 actually really good with mm -hmm. his stuff. Man. Um, I'm trying to think who would be my. I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna do my third one for more of this generation. Um, uh, who who do I listen to? I, I actually, you know what? To tell you the truth, I listen to NBA YoungBoy a lot. NBA YoungBoy the I dog. I listen to NBA that's, YoungBoy uh, a lot. Cameron, all that's all Cameron talk about. Yeah. That's his favorite person. NBA YoungBoy. NBA Youngboy, NBA Youngboy. I listen to his him little, a his, lot. His, all his um, what's them little comment thingies? Them little things that you can make and you can little, they got like, they say stuff on them and stuff like that. I forgot what they call them. The memes. The memes, yeah. The memes. All his memes is NBA Youngboy memes. Okay. Yeah. I never really seen nothing different. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. NBA Youngboy the guy. Yeah, he, he definitely is. Yeah, and and you know, he, guy. and he's young. He's, yeah. he's, he's young. He's like a year older than me. He's really young. Um, so he, that's why I got a problem with me having a favorite basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have a favorite basketball players these days because half of the basketball players is the same age as me. I'm telling, doesn't that be crazy? I'd be like, dang. But if one, if it came down to it, Kobe Bryant all day is my favorite basketball player. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest I love peace, you to Kobe. death. I mess with Paul George and I mess with Chris Paul. I always get their names mixed up. Don't know why I still do it, but I know who's who, and I'm all about the game. Um. And I hate to just give it to y'all like it is right now, but Trey Young. Trey Young a dog. Okay. He's a dog. Thank you, Atlanta, for picking him up. He's a dog. <laughs> He's a dog. He's a dog. You know? And I'm from Kalamazoo, but I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia is where it's at. So I definitely understand why. So I rep ATL all day to the day I die. T. Izzle, you already know what it is. Oh, yeah. So I got a question. You got, uh, yeah, I got a question. What's up? So we've been living these last, can I say, is it almost two years? It's been, when did this pandemic start? It's been, it's been a year and some months. A year and month, some months. So it started in March of 2020. Yeah. So it started in March of 2020. Seems longer though. It's, it feel like it's longer. Mm -hmm. um, but how, I mean, y'all can leave a comment in this too on how y'all feel too so that we can answer some of y'all questions. But. How do you feel ever since this has been happening? Like, what's, I mean, has anything changed or has it been a bad feeling or what? Um, when I, when I had my bad feeling mm -hmm. is when it, is, is when it first happened. Mm -hmm. That's when I had my bad feeling. Um, when it first happened, um, actually when it happened, I was in school still and, um, I was getting off, I was, it was, you know how you, uh, you get to the school in the morning time and stuff. And it was, a, it, the bus driver, it was a substitute bus driver. And as we was getting off the bus, he grabbed the little microphone thing and said, y'all watch out for the coronavirus. We're like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> he we, thought was playing. We, we just kept I mean, going. Thought he was playing. Yeah, we thought he was joking. Mm -hmm. So we just, we didn't know what the coronavirus was. And the next day when we got to school, they told us that, uh, they said, get back on your buses, go back home, school shut down. Ooh, we. That, that's the scariest stuff ever. I'm like, what's going on? So we go home, you turn on the news, it's, they talking about the coronavirus, uh, 200,000 deaths just happened and all mm -hmm. this crazy people, this body bags, ain't no room Man. in the hospital. So that was scary for me. Um, I wasn't, you know, I, I have not lived as long as, as you have, you know what I'm saying? So you're saying that like it's long. But no, 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 I'm <laughs> just saying it like it's long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still young. You're still young, definitely. <laughs> But you know, for somebody my age to yeah. to to experience, experience like that this. that's scary. Yeah, that's scary. Because I mean, you never would have thought. I mean, it's been a time that I've been through like something that was kind of similar to this. But it was back in the day. I was little, but I didn't really know. But you know, to, but to, I know how you feel about experience and this at a yeah. time like this being your first thing that you have yeah, to go through. Exactly. So definitely understand. And, and you know, and it messed up a lot of things. You know, my senior year, no prom no 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 homecomings no break no senior brunches or you know things like that you know none of that stuff got to happen so 
And then with everything being shut down, I felt really barricaded, like I was barricading myself. I didn't get no air until finally I just got to a point where, you know, I was like, you know, just forget it. I'm finna just get out and I'm finna just, just be free. You know, um, if, if anything was meant to happen to me, then I guess it would happen. But until then, I'm just gonna kick it and live. That's how I understand. feel. I definitely understand. Same here, um, when I first heard about it, I didn't take it as serious. I didn't take it as serious. I didn't really believe in it. And I kind of still, I mean, I do believe in it as far as now. I know I don't want a lot of people to be offended or anything, but um, what if it, what if this was all a game and what if everything was just able to be shut down? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they really could do that. Like they yeah, really they can. could shut they, everything down. They did it already. Yes, they already did it already. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, for us to still get out here, they say, okay, you can take the mask off. And you can take the mask off and you go in stores if you got your shot. But what about the people who, you know, didn't take their shot? You know what I'm saying? Which, I'm not taking the shot, but. <laughs> Me either. You know, but uh, my thing is, is that, what if, I mean, so that means there's really nothing out here. But then I seen Corona on the cans too, so it kind of got me with that. But me going through my time and experience of this Corona, it has been, I'm not going to lie, it's been shitty. Um, Stuff has not been the same. Uh, there's nobody really outside. Things are closing early. Um, there's no fun places to go to unless you travel outside the, uh, of Michigan. Yeah. If you go to Vegas or go to Florida, go to LA, I mean, it, those are open. People are up there having yeah. fun, enjoying their life. You know what I'm saying? And it, I honestly think that nothing really changed for those people, but down here, we're locked up still. Michigan got us and, like, yeah. Like locked up still. I mean, uh, we're not locked up in here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we're still going to do us as much as we can. But, but as far as how they're trying to, trying to treat us and control us, it's obvious. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, it's really, literally like a prison. Yeah. And and I and I refuse to to even let my mind, you know, follow them. You know, I don't I don't want to be no no sheep. You know what I'm no. saying? I, I don't want to be no sheep um, because I'm free. Um, we've been set free, so um, I'm not turning around from that. I'm not. I'm not going backwards from that. I don't blame you, cause it's not worth it. I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be a day that it all get better. I don't think the time is coming no time soon. So I don't think so either. I do want to let everybody know. A lot of people are like, okay, what's well, about to get better and it's gonna be better. No, I think we got a few years with this coronavirus. I think it's gonna go for a while. I think a lot of stuff is gonna happen throughout the time that we yeah. need to be prepared for. Um, yeah, and I think we just need to. I mean. For those that want the shot, okay, I definitely understand. That's fine. That's cool. But also, I want to just put and implicate out there that the shot, I mean, I don't, how could you believe in something like that right now when yeah. this stuff is going on? Like, Yeah, and, and, and you know, no. studies show that it takes years and years for the, 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 the studying of a vaccine stuff like that they came out with a vaccine less than a year yeah and and that's just something that i, I wouldn't it's impossible about. i mean how could you honestly do that but then how the hell do you know that that's going to cure this yeah and not only that it's cancer out here but you can't yeah, find anything you can't, cancer. yeah you can't it's cure hiv cancer. out here and you can't cure yeah. hiv and aids you can't cure anything of that but yet exactly. you went and you found this cure for the coronavirus. the coronavirus and there's millions of people that die from cancer a year yeah. and there's millions of people that die from coronavirus so all of a sudden y'all yeah. have a, a it's cure so easy for coronavirus and you know you know that's one and he made a great point and that's another reason why i just don't i don't trust it i don't i don't trust it, don't trust it. because i mean everything adds up I mean, it all adds up and you know and with and with this pandemic it has made it harder for for people like us that has aspiring dreams. You know what I'm saying? It sucks because we can't travel like we want. We can't to travel like we want to. Um, we can't. We can't. We can't do a lot. Um, you know, we want to. Like you know, we want to be actors. That's something that we have in common. We want to be oh, actors. Yeah. And um, and it's it's not easy coming across opportunities with a, a pandemic that's you know a, a, what they call a deadly disease is what they call it. Um, if there's a deadly disease going around, there's not many opportunities unless you've already made it. You Man, know, so. I'm telling you. And then how it makes people feel against other people. Um, honestly, I went into a store not too long ago. Of course, my mask was like down right here. Mm -hmm. And I went into the store and the dude looked back and he's like, you need to put your mask on. You're nasty. <laughs> he called me nasty. I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm not sick. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, and, that, and, that's, and that's crazy. Yeah, I, it was I, wild. I, I would not like that at all. It was really out of hand. 
Yeah, that, that Dollar General that's down the street. Mm -hmm. Uh, they every time you go in there, you need a mask. You need a mask. They I'm do like, you like that. Yeah, I'm they like, never do me like. I'm that. like, excuse me. Um, maybe I was coming in here to buy a mask. Yeah, you know that what is I'm true. saying? I don't. I wonder if I don't have one. Don't they yell never, at me. They never do me like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about the other day when I went to Dollar General? It was this, it was a it was an African American lady in there, uh -huh. and I didn't know where the deodorant was. So I was looking around. I'm, I'm walking. She was wondering why I kept walking past her. So I just wanted to tell her what why I was walking past her. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, I was like, do you know what a deodorant is? I can't find a deodorant nowhere. Mm -hmm. And she said, Oh, I, I think it's right over there. I looked over there. It was over there. And so I, I said, Thank you. You have a good day. She said, um, She said, um, She said, You too. Take your cross off. Ooh, we. Because you know I had a cross necklace on. Yeah. And so she was like, She was like, Take your cross off. And I didn't hear it at first. And I went back to her. I said, I said, I said, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. She said, She said, Well, I. I don't believe in that. I'm like, you don't believe in what, man? She she said, I don't believe in the in the cross. She said, I don't I don't I don't think that uh, you know, I'm Israel. So, um, if G we believe if Jesus died on the cross, why would you wear it? I said I said, <laughs> have a good one, ma'am. I'm not even I'm not even gonna go there with you. I'm not even gonna go there with you. I said, Yay. you have a good day, ma'am. And she was still talking when I left. I'm like, I'm not finna entertain this lady. Yeah. That was the I just I brought She's about that up. To get on ten was, with you. I didn't know. She was about to get on ten with you. That is crazy. A lot of people do that stuff though. And yeah. I mean, I'm, I, that's the only thing that confused me about a lot of religions and stuff like that, and about Christianity is that. I mean, is it's a lot of stuff that we honestly don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of stuff that we don't know. And, um, I, you know, I, I think that it's going to, you know, and, you know, this is just my opinion. I think there's going to be a place set for everybody. You know, it is, 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 is an illustration of why we're all different. It's going to be different places for everybody when that time comes. So that's the reason why we all don't believe in the same. We don't believe in the same because we're not the same kind of people. See, you know, so, um, so for the people that is Muslim and don't, and um, then you know they they're not too far from Christians. You know they just have strict rules and they just leave things in God's hands, which is nothing wrong with that. So I don't I don't never knock no religion. I just some things I'm just more comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know it's it, it, you know I don't smoke weed or nothing like that. But there's people in the churches that would try to dictate your mind into believing that. Uh, Smoking weed is, is, is not what God like. God don't like right. you smoking weed. But and how do we know if God didn't smoke? Ex exactly. <laughs> what if he was, it's a bush that exactly. grew. It comes from the earth, something that he created. Yeah, what if that was a tree of knowledge? Uh, the tree. <laughs> and he said, don't touch it. What if that's what that is? We all don't know. We don't know, is what I'm saying. I say, because once I smoke And there's joint, nothing in the Bible that mm -hmm. says, that says, don't smoke weed. It don't it, say it, it at it don't all. say that nowhere in there. I, you know, so so for so for when you go to church and those pastors trying to tell you you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that, you don't need to do this, that's probably a church you don't need to be at because um because um can't nobody really tell you anything. You know what I'm saying? We all have our own purpose and, and our own meaning in life. So um yeah, that's my take on that. Oh yeah. Sorry that y'all see me keep waving my hand at people. They riding by, we on a busy street where my mom stay at, and uh, all people do is ride by, they beat, they look, they honk, they say hey, and yeah, there's a lot of it, so you're going to see a lot of it just going by. But my take on, uh, I'm re I really like feel I feel where he coming from on his, and I really agree on what he said as well, too, so you know, um, I just take his intake on it and go from what he's saying, because it's really not a big difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you say. That's how you say it when you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know. But, uh, but yeah, um, let's do a little bit of motivate. You know, um, motivate. I thought we just did a little bit of motivate. Yeah, we, we, you know, but let's shoot. let's el elaborate with some motivate. And some motivation. Some motivation. All right. All right. Yeah. Um. And yeah, you know, we kind of did do a little bit of motivation, you know, because mm -hmm. as I was saying, you know, the, you know, if you, if you have a dream, if you, if you have a dream, um, whether it's basketball, football, or soccer, or singing, dancing, acting, modeling, all that stuff, the pandemic really kind of kills your shot for that if you haven't already made it. That's why, if you notice, there's not a lot of upcomers right now. Um, it's it's a few here and there, but. Um, 
there's not many. And um, but I look at it as like this is nothing but an opportunity just to go harder, just to go harder for what you want, what you need, and um, and everything else above the sky. You know, that's that's how I feel about it. My biggest thing on on this take is for you guys to continue to work hard. Don't stop. I know this pandemic is slowing you down, but this gives you more time to train yourself to become perfect. Yeah, seriously. I know we all ain't perfect, but I mean, don't you want to work to be perfect so you can work until you feel like you are? Continue to strive. Uh, if you if you play basketball, like I tell my boys who play basketball, let's work every day. Let's work. Like I tell my people who like to do art, let's draw a picture every day. Let's have goals. Let's set goals. Let's get out here and let's make things happen. And the only way we can make things happen is by us getting up, letting everything else go, and going hard for what we want. See? So, okay, if you're on social media all day, stop. Let it go. Put social media down. Go accomplish two goals and then come back to social media as a reward. Yeah. So reward yourself. Yeah. And Definitely. see where it take you to. Definitely. Yeah, and that's and that's and that's just, and that's just, that's the biggest thing right there. I mean, that's the bottom line. Period. Um, you know, one thing I had to learn is is you know, um, nobody's gonna do it for you. It's not it's not it's not gonna come to you. You gotta go get it. Um, you know what I'm saying? And that and that's something that you know we do. We work on. We we're, we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to. And we have to learn that. You know, not because we learn every day. You know, we have to learn that just sitting back and. And just and just saying, oh, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be that. You keep telling yourself this, you keep telling yourself that, but you're still telling yourself this, but you're not moving your legs to go to it. You know what I'm saying? You're not taking saying? that leap of faith. You're not you leaping. Gotta take, it's gonna be, it's gonna be scary. It's gonna definitely be scary. Yeah. You know, um, is that right? Yeah. It, it's, it's definitely gonna be scary. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna be comfortable with. Anything. You know, us just. You know, doing the video with, for you guys is not the most comfortable thing in the world, but you just got to do it. You got to do it. You I know? mean, we want to shine on y'all and, you know, like they say, let your light shine on to another for them to let their light shine. So yeah. I'm giving y'all permission to let y'all light shine. Yeah, you know definitely. what I'm saying? So you get out there, you do it. Miss those distractions. Miss that negativity that's out there. Let that energy go. Let it go yeah. and build for yourself and become who you want to be because you are who you are. You your own person. We all think differently. I don't think the same as him. Right. Maybe when I drink water, the water might taste different for me and taste different for him. Yeah. So it's so all of it's